Hello, I'm Linda Carver. I'm the coordinator of Ancoats Dispensary Trust. In 2011, the threat of demolition of this Grade Two listed building galvanised a group of local people to gather their resources to not only stop the demolition of an important piece of their heritage, but to restore the building for the benefit of the various communities that now exist within Ancoats. They've gathered support from thousands of people in their efforts to raise public awareness of the dispensary. They have engaged with professional and skilled organisations and people to assist them in their endeavours. We have carried out extensive community consultations, local needs assessment, we've arranged stakeholder meetings with all concerned. The group have fundraised, marched, given local radio and national radio interviews and press articles. This building is truly iconic. It's steeped in people's memories. They've got memories of their granddad or whatever was from there. They was born there, they was treated there, they might have even passed away there. This significant medical history in the building, it played a vital part in the Second World War with its um, orthopaedic surgery. And this campaign has made a difference in the sense that it's raised the profile of this building and it's gathered thousands of supporters. It's also given hope to hundreds of people whose memories are locked into that building. To measure the success of this campaign, we've managed to halt the demolition. We've held a massive public event to share the vision with the community. We have submitted a Stage 1 Heritage Lottery Fund bid to secure the building. And I quote from John Ruskin here because he says it better than I ever could. The greatest glory of a building lies not in its stones, not in its good, its glory is in its age.